It's not surprising the most dedicated Longhorn fans show up long before tip off. But Lester Johnson and his wife Mary say they get to the Irwin Center at least two hours early for a different reason. If we didn't get here, where I have to park would be by the tennis court. Both have respiratory problems and Mary uses a walker to help her get around. So they want to make sure they get one of the limited number of handicap spaces closer to the court. Do you feel like there are enough handicap spaces close to the Irwin Center? No. 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 By a long shot, no. The University of Texas says it's because construction of its new medical school next door is taking up a lot of room. We have a lot that's north of the Irwin Center that has lost half of its spaces, and those spaces were um, predominantly ADA spaces. And so that left us with a deficit of about 26 spaces. Around the Irwin Center, you'll find more than 3,300 parking spaces for basketball fans on game night. Legally, that means UT must reserve just 44 for disabled drivers. And right now, even with the loss of some spaces to construction, the school says it has three times that number. We have at least 100 spaces more than we're required to have by law for basketball. But many of those aren't so close. If you're not one of the lucky ones to get an ADA parking space in this parking lot directly next to the Irwin Center, you have no choice but to find another parking lot. And one of your options involves crossing the busy intersection of MLK, which will bring you here to this parking lot where there are a few additional ADA spaces. Do you think there's enough parking for the disabled? I don't think there's enough parking for anybody on campus. Unless you're willing to pay. It depends on how deep your pockets are where you park. Some of the closest spaces to the game are reserved for Longhorn Foundation members who fork over at least $600 to request their preferred parking. Handicap parking, close or not, is just $7. What do you say to all the people who feel like you give more priority to members of the Longhorn Foundation than to the disabled? Well, I don't agree that that's true. I don't think that we give them more priority than we give the people who have D permits or state issued placards. And like a lot of fans, Lester and Mary are not prepared to pay much or willing to walk very far. So they'll just have to keep showing up early and waiting for something to change. The good news, once construction wraps up, the school says there will be about 180A spaces for basketball game fans next season. And that's more than before. UT says because of our questions, they're going to look into whether they can provide more ADA spaces for people who need them. Of course, we'll stay on top of this and talk to fans next season to see if UT keeps these promises. Reporting at the University of Texas, Lindsey Bramson, KXAN Investigates.